Now this is the second time this has happened to me. It happened once in Lusk. Um, you'll see if you watched my, or are going to watch, I guess I'm not done editing, my road trip video um, for the West Coast road trip to California, Oregon, so on and so forth. Uh, I was having some problems in Lusk, Wyoming charging, whereas my charging rate wouldn't go above about 50 kilowatt, uh, kilowatt hours. Uh, now, I rolled in here in Madison, Wisconsin at, uh, at about 18 miles remaining, and hold on, I'm just trying to see what I'm at now. Now, uh, for a few minutes now, all of a sudden, I, I was charging at 104, dropped down to, at about 30%. At 33%, it magically dropped, dropped down to 48 kilowatts, and now it just jumped back up. It seems to be bouncing up and down, up and down, all over the place. And uh, now we're at 87. Now, one thing I, I didn't realize, or one thing that happened after um, I didn't record it, because I was at, or after sitting there for quite a long time charging at only 50 kilowatt or below to try and get enough to get to Rapid City, which um, I really should have stayed even longer, um, I went out to unplug the car, and just so you know, the jerky video here is when... Uh, the camera has to re recalibrate the thermal sensor. But what happened was, I walked out to the car, grabbed the handle as usual, and I'm not touching it now, but grabbed the handle as usual, and I actually burned my hand. It, uh, it was hot enough where it seared my hand. Uh, now, I just came out of the car again after it had dropped down to 50 kilowatt, and now it's still back up at the moment. And it's at 88. Now, I came out. Oh, we got a spider. And uh, I grabbed it again just to see if I was having the same phenomenon on the uh, the supercharging cable. And it, uh, when, it, when it was still at the 50 kilowatt charging rate, it was hot enough where I couldn't keep my hand on. Uh, it's that natural re uh, reflex where you want to pull your hand away. Uh, to prevent from getting burned. Uh, and it actually cooled off a bit. And now it's starting to heat back up. There's 127, 128. Uh, about 135 is that, that point for the human body where it says that's too effing hot and I don't want to touch that. Uh, below that, it's just like, it's bath water. It's almost, it's, it literally is a couple degree difference. Uh, to, makes your body say, screw this, or it's okay. But uh, let's just, I just see, a hundred, okay, 178, 179, eight, 180. It's going up. Uh, this is, that is almost boiling right there. And that's not inside the car. That is on the outside of the charge, charge wand. Look at that. Okay, it's 130. Let's go check the bottom a bit. Hopefully I got enough. There's 174, 140. That is that is very very hot. That is almost too hot. Or it is too hot. Let's just go up up middle of the cable, and it's only about 70 degrees out, and the, the sun's not out. It's cloudy. 130. Bastards beeping their horn. Holy crap. Yeah, that's hot on my leg there. Felt like a dog was pissing on me. Uh, that liquid cooled uh, charging cables didn't come anywhere near this. And it's going to be hard to get a good reading here because of the metallicness and reflectiveness, uh, which reflects IR. As comparison, that's my hand that was just on the cable. That is way, way, way too hot. 160. And right there is about where you're going to put your hand. So you're going to grab right... Ah. And it is really taking effort to keep my hand on, on the charge wand. And for the heck of it, 
pop the trunk here and out. There's this little compartment side. And that is inside the car. That those are the two high voltage wires. Now I believe in the newer versions of the car, instead of using two large conductors, holy crud, criminy. Instead of using two large conductors because they're not very flexible, they actually use uh, they use four smaller ones. I'm not sure offhand what gauge they are, but um, I think I'm going to be calling. Uh, supercharger support again because that is ridiculously hot something's not right here I wonder what uh, what rate we're charging at it's still up at 76 so something was going on during that uh, initial uh, initial burst uh, we're using this cabinet here I wonder what we got coming out of the cabinet only about 112 out of the radiator now the car is cool enough where it's not, not even running the air conditioning compressor, just the cooling fan. Still a little toasty. So, just my findings. Something interesting to ponder. Uh, and for those of you that watched the liquid cooled uh, charging cable uh, video from when I was in Mountain, Mountain View, California last week, uh, this is significantly, significantly hotter. Smile, cheese!